has been coming for about less than a week now. <laughs> I think she's had maybe three adjustments now. Okay. And uh, within those three adjustments, what has transpired in your life that you like? Well, I had symptoms of major hemorrhaging. Oh. And um, that has Praise. much controlled itself. Praise God. So, wow. That is huge. I'm not huge. sure between God and Dr. Zeno. Well, we're gonna be we're gonna definitely be sure about the guy part, all right? Yeah. But, <laughs> we can be we can be hazy on the man part, but definitely the guy part. But I'm amazed that I went through it expecting that I was still gonna hemorrhage, and I was worried at work I'm not gonna. Yeah. Yeah. Scrub's gonna be. Yep. Yep. But it didn't happen. Praise God. So it was kind of a no now, pains. Yeah. Now, how long were you battling with this condition? How long has it been? Now? Probably since I had my second child. Oh, okay. So, and how old is your second child? She's seven now. She's seven. Oh, this is a wow. So this yeah, this woman is like the, you know, kind of reminded the story in the Bible with the woman with the issue of blood and everything. And, you know, Jesus touched her. Well, she touched Jesus, but she touched him with faith as well. And because of her faith, you know, she got her healing. So, man, I like the fact that, uh, you know, Jesus is definitely uh, the same yesterday, today, and forever. So, thank God. Huh? Feel good. Sleeping feel, better on my back. Feel good. Sleeping better on her back. I know that's a big shock to a lot of people out there in the world today. But uh, it's happening. All right? And that's part of the healing process as well. That's the best way to, to sleep. All right? On the back. Sometimes you might need to put a pillow underneath the knees or something. But it's all good. But uh, anyway, uh, man, we, well, we just glorify God on behalf of Anita, and we thank God for that testimony because you never know. I mean, I'm sure there's tons of, of women, you know what I'm saying, and, and maybe men, you know what I'm saying, that are experiencing, you know, similar things and conditions. But you know what? Just thank God he has no respect of person. What he'll do for one, he'll do for another, you well, know. the thing is that, that you think that it's because we're women and, oh, it's that time of the month that you should be hemorrhaging that much. It should be. That's my mom. Okay. 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 All right. Well, there you have it, guys. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's not normal. All right. But you know what? She's come. I'm she's, have she's... to get a hysterectomy because of it. Ooh. Nah. You know what? I think my mom may have had uh, had to do that. So you know, now you 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 getting into a lot of homes now. But you know what? We're going from homes to hope now. All right. And like I said before, where there's health, there's hope. And when you have hope, you have everything. So